Hello, uh, welcome everyone to this video on YouTube. I uh, just want to show you um, yeah, some, some nice things about Vim. Okay, Vim actually has auto completion. I just didn't, didn't know it before. Okay, so here are some uh, pages on Reddit and what not. Uh, Alright, what you can search is uh, Vim auto complete, but the, the keys are, as you can see, I, I show you, I've shown you. Uh, it's uh, Control N and Control P while in insert mode. So here's my terminal. So uh, for example, I have this very long I engineering conversion enumerable. Okay, I want to open a line above, and I want to type in I engineering conversion enumerable. Right? Okay. I need a uh, urine conversion enumerable. All right. Do I want to keep typing this? Okay. Probably not. So if you want to take a look at uh, take a look at what's available. Okay. Just make sure you're in insert mode and you type I E N G Control N. Okay? That will help you get this. I E N G Control P will also get you this. So Control N and Control P are pretty similar. Okay. If you don't want to do anything, you can just type Control N and you, you can actually search through all the uh all the things that, that uh all all the things we use, right? All the things that we use and you auto complete it for you okay so again if you have something uh, type insert and then uh, control N and I want uh, let's say I okay control N and then you can go through the list of what what is here interface inherits imports okay go up and down okay you cannot use your regular Vim bindings unfortunately Okay, you cannot use your you cannot use your regular Vim bindings. You will have to use the up and down arrow in this case. Okay? But if you don't want to even look at this menu, just do something like this. Okay? Uh set delegate. Okay? I can do control P and it will auto complete for me. Okay? How does this auto complete actually uh, get set? Cuz uh sometimes I want things like XML reader. Okay? It will say something like, okay, pattern not found. Okay, pattern not found. Alright, so... Uh, so the thing is, there must be at least one, one, uh, one time that the word appears in your document. At least once. So that uh, it uh, does this autocomplete. So as long as this IXML reader is here, okay, then you, you click I and then you do IXML reader. IXML something, just control P, it will auto complete to reader why does it do that because ixml reader is already inside this vim document so vim will search through your entire document and see whether you know this actually exists there all right so uh so then there are of course some other things you can do okay if you open more files in vim my suspicion is that yeah you you will uh you will be able to uh Let's say go up. Uh, yeah, let's say I want my IXML reader right here. I will open the DWSIM XML reader dot VB. Okay, okay. Here I don't have IXML reader, but let me open it up. I do IXML reader Control P. Okay. Suddenly there are so many so many uh things out there. Why? Because uh, I opened up Nerd Tree. Okay, Nerd Tree will be able to fetch me a list of you know potential completions here so you can see that nerd tree is the source of these things so i can i can look at that okay uh if i do this uh if i do underscore and i'm looking for this one uh, xml library selector xml library selector i can just put Control n again it will do that okay because why i i've opened many files in vim Okay, Vim will search through all the open files and then say, okay, what, what are the, the lists of uh, things I can do? Okay, so, uh, okay, so conclusion, how do you do autocomplete in Vim? Get into insert mode. It's either Control O, Control uh, A, I or whatever. As long as you're in insert mode, I can just type A and then uh, start writing Control N. I will be able to find uh, words Okay, words that are uh, 
you know matching patterns that are already in vim so all of these i mean assuming assuming they're correct these things will open up now this is not like intellisense it is not like intellisense uh, uh, that you see in visual studio visual studio code but it will this itself will already help you uh, speed up your coding a lot okay so uh, this is how you do auto completion and that's it for this video thanks for watching